Hello and welcome to this JavaScript plus HTML and CSS lesson. In this lesson, we are going to create a custom progress bar that will display the same in all major browsers. You will notice in HTML5, we have the progress element that was introduced, but it looks totally different in each browser. First, we are going to demonstrate how different it looks on each browser. Then, we are going to create our own, like the one displaying on the screen, that we can use in our JavaScript programmed applications. So, we are going to move to Notepad++ and we are going to create HTML document. So we are going to put progress. Then we give it a maximum value of 100, minimum value of 0, and the value of let's give it 35. So let's save this file. We are going to save it as custom. HTML. So we preview this in Firefox. Now we are going to see the diversity. They all look different, you see? We preview this file in IE. You see? Totally different. Then we preview this file in Chrome. You see? They all look different. You can see. This is IE. This is Chrome. They look different. And that is not good for developers. So, I'm going to show you how to make a custom one that you can tie to all your other applications like file upload, anything. So, we are going to start with a basic HTML document and we are going to use two divs. So, we are going to create a div. We are going to give it an ID of progress. And in this div, we are going to give it, we are going to add another div, we are going to give it an id of track. Now these are the two divs that we are going to use. This one will be the track that shows the value, the new value, whenever there's a change, okay? So in order for us to see, if we went back and refreshed the page, you see there's nothing displayed. So we're going to use CSS to style these two elements to give them some appearance, okay? Some good looks, so style. So we're going to style the div with the id of progress bar we're going to give it some properties width we're going to give it 300 pixels height we're going to give it 14 pixels and border radius We are going to give it 8 pixels. Now, let me explain what everything does here. This gives the bar a width. This one gives it the height. And this one gives it rounded corners. Okay? So, let's give it a background color of black. Now, let's preview this in a browser and see 
where we get you see we get this black div with rounded corners okay now inside this div we want this other div to appear okay so we're going to copy all this and now change this to the div with the property of track okay we are going to have them having the same width the same height the same border radius but different color let's give this one a white color okay and we're going to give this one a padding of two pixels so that we can see the difference okay now the width of this one we won't give it 300 so that we can see so let's give it uh, something like 200 and we'll go back to the browser refresh you see it appears in between like a nice good process bar okay so we have styled it now let's go now to javascript we are going to show you how to program it okay so this one we're going to give it a width of zero pixels by default it should start at zero okay so let's go create a script tag we want our script to run after the web page has loaded okay so we are going to use an, an event listener on the window the load event whenever our document has finished loading that's when you want to start running this javascript okay so we're going to add a, wi a window we're going to have to add an event listener to the window and the event we're going to listen to is load and we're going to call this function okay the use capture let it be false so whenever the window loads we want this function to run so copy that name and we type function takes no arguments so this this is the function that is going to make that bar run on its own okay to be automatic so what we're going to do we're going to declare some variables var using the var keyword the first variable we'll call it prog and we'll set it to zero what this variable does for now because we, we are going to use we are not going to use any file upload mechanisms we just want to put it at zero it will give the width of the track and the track remember is the div that is inside the progress bar okay so by default we want it to be zero then we are going to declare another variable called progress bar and another one called track we are going to use these two variables as object references for this div and this div okay so after the window has finished loading that's when you're going to assign value to this okay so progress will be equal to document ID progress bar. The same thing for the track. Track will be equal to document.get element by ID track. Okay. So by now we have object references for our div. So we can control them using JavaScript. Now, we are going to be changing the width 
of this track dynamically using JavaScript. Okay, so we are going to say track dot style dot width is equals to this progress plus percent. Now we are giving it a percentage width okay so that it will determine the width as a percent of the total width of the progress of the progress bar okay so it will be this value plus percent then right below that one we're going to increment the prog by five okay so we're going to say plus equals five. Then, because we want this to keep running, we're going to assign to to call this function after every one second so that it can progress live. So we're going to put set timeout. And this is the function that is used to call a function. Is used to call a function after some amount of time. So we want it to call this function, the function in that name, after this amount of time. And this means one second because this is in milliseconds. So one thousand milliseconds is equals to one second. Okay. So Let's go back to the browser and see. So you can see it is progressing just the way we wanted. Okay. So let's see. Now, as you can see, when it reaches 100% width, it goes beyond. And you can see it has gone beyond. So we don't want that. Okay. So to prevent that, we are going to add a simple if function which checks if this prog is greater than 100, we want to reset it to 0, okay, so that it is another additional logic, refresh. Now this time when it gets to 100, it will be turned back to zero. It will not go beyond that 100. So that's a very simple script. You can see very little CSS, very little JavaScript, and it's working so well. Okay. So instead of using the default progress bar, you could use such a mechanism putting a div instead a div so so as to achieve uniformity in all browsers let's now run that same code in firefox you see it looks exactly the same in firefox let's also run it in internet explorer allow blocked content you see, it looks exactly the same in all major browsers. So we do not need to use the HTML on progress because it will not look the same in all browsers. Okay. So that's it for now. You can see very short script. So that's it for now. See you next time.